The President and Mrs Childers joined the parade as it lined up at the bottom of the Port Road. The members of the festival committee formed up behind the Garda van from Dublin, making their first appearance in Donegal. Also taking part in the parade were the impressive Irish Army Band of the Western Command and the popular local Letterkenny Accordion Band. The crowds lined along the streets gave the President a wonderful reception and were obviously delighted to see him walking in the parade. In his opening speech, the President spoke of his pleasure at being invited to open Letterkenny's sixth international folk festival. He went on later to say, In the advancing world in which we live, we see Letterkenny growing in industrial and social importance. And I'm so glad to hear of the coming of the great factory who will eventually employ a thousand people. And Letterkenny has indeed been advancing in prosperity for a number of years. So I think it's important to say a few words about what seems to me to be of very great importance in relation to the future social growth of the town of Letterkenny and its people, and it applies to any town in Ireland. And the first essential requirement for any town in this modern age of ours is to have the people feel a sense of total community consciousness, a sense of being responsible for the entire moral and social and cultural welfare of the people in the town. The people not simply living as separate human beings, but feeling a sense of involvement in everything that comes on. Now you've been set a, a splendid example by the committee of the Letterkenny Folk Festival in how a voluntary committee can begin to organize things and to bring about a festival of this kind. And there are other organizations in Letterkenny who are working for the common good. Well, now, if people get together, and if they have a sense of community consciousness, why then, a great many things can be done. We can look after the old, the disabled, and the sick in a better way and make improvements in the community services. We can, above all, find out what are the needs for young people in the way of recreation, in the way of athletics, in the way of providing them centers where they can do their things, where they can get further education, where they can enliven their hearts and minds in a world where they're going to have a great many, a great deal more spare time than their fathers or their grandfathers had. And so, in this way, the people come together and the town grows in social strength and grows in Christian purpose. Now, a second and essential feature in our modern world is that the younger generation should get to know the people of other nations, should get to know their singing, their dancing, their culture, and their social ideas. And so the International Festival is important in that we invite here people from other countries to dance and sing in the streets of Letterkenny so that we can share with them their own ideals and begin to understand them. I think it's true to say that when we have people coming from abroad to dance and sing, it encourages our own Irish traditional dancing and singing. And the people of Better Kenny are therefore set a challenge that when they have people from abroad to come and sing and dance here, that they should bring the best fruits they can to Better Kenny and from other places in order to ensure that we retain our own cultural tradition. 